Good morning. This morning we're going to finish up Romans 5 through 8 after a lengthy journey. And we look at verses 38 and 39 as the capstone of this and a reminder, a clear reminder of the love of God in the midst of our sufferings. For I am sure that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 8, 38, 39. You know, uh, you'll endure suffering, but the love of Christ is always with you. And here we get into the celestial realm. We get into the idea that beyond just physical suffering, there's just nothing, nothing in all the created universe, physical or metaphysical, that can separate you from the love of God in Christ. Tommy Nelson, pastor in, down in Denton uh, Bible Church in Texas, uh, said the following, and I love this statement. I want to read it to you. God will not separate you from all things. In other words, you're going to go through some stuff. God will not separate you from all things. But all things will never separate you from God. I love that. God will not separate you from all things. You'll go through it. But all those things you go through, they'll never separate you from God. Uh, this, these verses that I read to you remind me of a hymn. Uh, sometimes it's called, I stand amazed in the presence, or sometimes it's called, my Savior's love. But I want to read to you the verses of it this morning for you to reflect upon. It was written by Charles Gabriel. It first came into hymnody in 1905 in a United Methodist collection of hymns. I stand amazed in the presence of Jesus the Nazarene and wonder how he could love me, a sinner condemned, unclean. The chorus, I'll read this first time, goes, Oh, how marvelous, how wonderful, and my song will ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. For me it was in the garden. He prayed, not my will, but thine. He had no tears for his own griefs, but sweat drops of blood for mine. He took my sins and my sorrows. He made them his very own. He bore the burden to Calvary, and he suffered, and he died alone. And the final verse. When with the ransomed in glory his face I at last shall see, t'will be my joy through the ages to sing of his love for me. How marvelous, how wonderful, and my song shall ever be. How marvelous, how wonderful is my Savior's love for me. I love that song because it takes me on a journey at the beginning of being amazed at the, at, 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 to stand in the presence of Jesus who loved me to the very end that ultimately this glory that I'll await, right? Remember the golden chain? This glory that awaits me wraps back around and inspires me in the present to press forward because I know he loved me. May you know today that the Lord loves you. And may you know that what he has in store for you is that which will, uh, can and should give life to you today. Stand amazed in the presence of Jesus, the Nazarene. May the Lord bless you.